In this video, we will be installing free and open source web hosting control panel. AA panel, which is used by almost 3.6 million servers in Asia. This is one of the most popular hosting control panel. I have installed AA panel on various virtual machines, various physical machines, and today I'll be installing on one of my VMs on Oracle Cloud Platform. Just a single script will install all the dependencies. Let us run the script on the Linux virtual machine. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe it now so that you get the updates regularly. So let us begin today's video. Let me increase the size of this so that you can see it clearly. So I'll be using sudo. Okay, so upgrade is completed now. Now in order to install the AA panel, we can go to AA panel website. So you will get this installation script. I can use a CentOS installation script here, which will install AA panel 6.0. Copy this entire script, paste it here. It will start downloading the script and then it will start running the script. So it says me, do you want to install the AA panel? If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe it now so that you get the updates regularly. Okay, here AA panel has successfully installed. Clear the screen, sudo bt and here is all the operation that I can do with my a panel installation so i'll just simply choose number 14 which is going to give me all the information required and it shows me that these particular ports needs to be opened so i need to make sure that these all ports are opened cloud infrastructure go to networking go to virtual networks open your network and open your subnet here then it will open your security list default security list here you can see that we opened uh, 22 port was automatically open so i will add a rule here so i'll be choosing the cidr and a source can be anything anything from the globe a source port could be anything but destination would be these all ports and add all these ports. Now you can see that these all ports are opened. I copy this panel link here, which is on my public IP. And what was the user ID and password? So here is the user ID. I'll copy it here. Once you log in, you need to now install the application. So it will show me two options. So depending upon with which you are comfortable with, you can use Apache or you can use Nginx. And then if you want to have DNS manager also, you can use the DNS manager. If you want to have this as a mail server also, uh, mail server also can be configured on this. But I'll be choosing default options here and click one click install. Once you click on install, it will take some time to install all the packages required for the web server. And once the installation is completed, you can come back and conf start configuring your website. So I'll just wait for the installation to complete. We have already installed uh, Nginx. So I'll just refresh the website. Uh, this is the dashboard. On dashboard, you can see the system status. Zero website is there, zero FTP, zero database. And there are two security warnings here that we'll see it. Current port has to be changed that we will see how we have to configure all the components of it. But before we start, let me add a website for this particular IP address, which is tutorial.syncbricks.com and it is pointing to this particular IP address. As you can see here, I'll simply go here, go to websites, add a website here and here is my website. So the website path will automatically be chosen. So you can choose here 
and whether you want to create an FTP account, you want to create a database and you can choose the SSL. It will use auto encrypt to get the SSL certificate for your website, which is a great feature in AA panel. It's for free. So I'll choose apply SSL. So if this particular server is, is able to reach to this IP address and if DNS is updated, so it will automatically get the SSL certificate. Uh, it has successfully installed uh, the website also and it has created the SSL certificate as well. And by default, it will be copying uh, this file, this particular index file into my website as well. So I'll be going to tutorial. I can change the page here. Okay, I'll go to the site directory now. Here is my site directory. And this is my index.html page. I just double click here. And I'll replace my existing page with new one, something here with coming soon. My website is right now ready. So if I go to App Store, I can download various applications into my AA panel web hosting. Uh, you can see Nginx is there. So here I can show it on my dashboard. MySQL, it's on my dashboard. I click on installed. All the installed applications will be listed here. As you can see that there are some applications which are still being installed right now. Once the installation is completed, now you can see PHP is also installed. Pure FTP is installed, PHP My Admin is installed. I can install a mail server also. If I go and search for the application mail, it will show me the mail server application. So I can simply install it. And uh, then you can have DNS. So DNS manager can be installed there. Cloud DNS where you can have the Cloudflare account uh, configured with your web server. So this is my blog website, which I'll be bringing into my a panel if you want to see how to transfer your website from existing web server to the new web server or existing hosting provider to your own free uh, web server okay, here i have provided a link for that particular video or here in the description you can find the link that how to transfer the wordpress website or any website from existing hosting provider to new hosting provider for more insights watch the related video before you go Click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and avoid missing any latest videos.